Hello everyone, welcome to The Walking Talk, our Walking Dead recap, review, criticism show. Uh, the show came back. I've been pretty public about not liking this show on the site, and people really hate when I do that, and they get very sad. But I've never done it in video form yet, regularly, so maybe that'll uh, change some minds. We'll try to focus on the positives. The show came back. Um, it took a lot of flack last year because we were sort of leading to this moment where Negan was going to kill someone and we didn't know who it was going to be, and when there was all this speculation, and it ended not on a cliffhanger, it just ended not telling us, because a cliffhanger, yeah. David Wong on our site points out, a cliffhanger is, I can't wait to see what happens next, and not, I can't wait to find out what just happened. And that's how the, the season ended, where someone died, and we wait a year. You still had to wait two commercial breaks and 25 minutes to find out who died, and it was, yeah. So we find out Abraham, uh, mustache mm -hmm. and Glenn died and that was one of the times that the show actually did Get me they killed Abraham, and I was like that's that's a real loss And then they do go for it, and they really kill Glenn which actually did yeah. surprise me One of the writers said that they were doing it because they wanted to break the audience Yeah, like you don't want your relationship with the show to be abusive, right? Of course <laughs> I don't think the show is really capable of breaking me at this point because mm -hmm. that little boy got shot in the eye I watched Rick bite some guy in the throat. Everyone has sort of gone to their breaking point, and when all the characters have gone from human to inhuman and back again across six seasons, I'm I'm unbreakable. Like, like I, I, you can't do it. There is no amount of character killing that's going to surprise us at yeah. this point. The but, only, like, maybe Rick. But that really seemed to be the point of the episode was, yeah. was breaking Rick, is mm -hmm. that if you want the show to keep going and be narratively interesting, you really need to sell the audience on the idea that Rick is sort of defanged and powerless a little bit. You need the audience yep. to believe that he would answer to Negan. So it looks like we're gonna live in the new reality where Rick is actually like a, a beaten dog to Negan, which is new. Yeah, it's, it's new for now. <laughs> yeah, it could be interesting. <laughs> I do like Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Yes. Um, I like him as an actor a whole lot. I think he's cool looking. I know that he's a comic book <laughs> character, but it's like slick black hair and, and, and leather jacket and yeah. a bandana. No reason to dress like that unless you used to be a comic book character where people dress like that. He's a cool looking guy, he's got a very inefficient weapon, but again, that's like a, a comic book character thing. This is a, a weapon that was innovated by professional wrestling, I would like yeah. to point out, yeah. that Cactus Jack used to carry around. For right. him it was called Barbie, oh, instead that's, of Lucille. Barbie is a more clever name for a bat covered in barbed wire. <laughs> but I like having him on the show because he smiles. He tells dad jokes when he's yeah. murdering people with a bat. He said, Suck my nuts! This vampire bat joke. I don't care <laughs> what anyone says. I, and I like the reveal of it, because in the beginning, all we hear is him saying, Was the joke that bad? I wonder what the joke was, that's really exciting. And then later, he's talking about his bat being thirsty. She is a vampire bat! I'm sure he's used it before. I'm yeah. sure Dwight and Simon this are like, not the first time. There we go. <laughs> but that got me, I was like, oh, this... <laughs> <laughs> I get that he's a sociopath, but... The alternative is a bunch of really sad people looking down all the time and talking about, do you remember before when there weren't zombies and how that was better? I do remember that. And now we have a guy who's like, hey everybody, yep. I practiced this speech, I'm gonna do some jokes, I'm gonna <laughs> smile a lot. It's like, good, cool, I would like, I like that's, smiling, that's I like different. to see it. Yeah. And he's actually a bad guy that revels in being in this world, even right. even Shane, who was like, "Oh, this is what it takes to be alive in this world." He he wasn't he didn't enjoy it. No, the no. governor had gone crazy, and he obviously didn't enjoy it. And I just can't see that happening with Negan. He's no. the first guy that he's no. I love being in the apocalypse. Yeah, I was waiting for something like this to happen. <laughs> How many people did he kill to finally scare everybody that's following him enough to to listen to him? Right, because they don't seem scared. They seem right. like they super oh, buy yeah. it. It's like. Hey, this is good. Dwight, you're my right-hand man. Give me a pen. Yeah! Love being a right-hand man. <laughs> Who was waiting for a Negan to come right. along? I was like, <laughs> I'm clearly a lackey in need of a charismatic leader. Yeah. Daryl punched Negan. That's what yeah. got Glenn killed. I don't understand. Negan accepts that he needs to murder a few people mm -hmm. to get these new guys to like him, and chooses not to murder the one who punched him. Right. I guess he likes his spirit. Yeah. Like, oh, you got gusto, kid. <laughs> Abraham dying, I, that felt like everyone was much sadder about Glenn dying yeah. than, than, than Abraham, <laughs> I thought for a That's second. Because they had like a huge group gathered over Glenn's body, and you just see Abraham's legs in the background. It's like, we should, 
Uh, yeah, Rosita, yeah, go be, go be sad over there. And Eugene, Eugene, you gotta carry that body. Yeah. <laughs> they had the sadness montage where everyone sat there being sad. Yeah. And then they had that stupid dream sequence of everyone at this giant table where all of his friends are having dinner, but he didn't think to, like, imagine that his dead wife, Lori, was there. <laughs> <laughs> and when Rick is driving away and looking in the rear view mirror and we see a zombie has walked up to the woods and is, like, eating the brains off the ground, mm -hmm. that's kind of funny. <laughs> I don't know if I'm supposed like what I was supposed to get from that if they're right. thinking <laughs> this is gonna be like even shot? more brutal they'll, they'll be really sad and I was like no that's like what a coup for that zombie <laughs> good for him <laughs> he's the first one on site you just never find just the brain part that you have <laughs> this is a real treat for that zombie <laughs> 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 Hey, thanks for watching. Come see the Cracked Live podcast this Saturday at the Now Hear This Festival. Information about where to go for tickets, how to get them cheap, should be on the screen right now.